The Washington Capitals were struggling, but now they've bounced back and won three in a row to just about lock up a playoff spot. We are joined by Dan Holmey, who is going to talk to us about the Capitals and what they need to do to set up a long playoff run. Your Locked On NHL, your daily podcast on the National Hockey League. Part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. And welcome back to the Locked On NHL podcast. Gil Martin, so glad to be with you here and thank you for making Locked On NHL your first listen every day. We are free and available on all platforms. It's my pleasure to welcome back to the show from Locked On Capitals, Dan Holmey. And Dan, how are you? I'm doing great. Great to have you back and good timing. Your team Finally sort of finding its groove after struggling a little bit. Three wins in a row. How important was it for this Capitals team to get back on track at this late point in the season? Well, I think it was very important. I mean, the Washington Capitals had two huge losses against Carolina and then another huge loss against the Minnesota Wild. And then it was kind of uncertain about this the future of this Capitals team. TJ Oshie announced they had an all players meeting. And right after that, this has been a totally changed Washington Capitals team as they beat Tampa, Pittsburgh, and Boston. Two big opponents that was a true test of what kind of team this is going to be in the playoffs. Yeah, and and doing it in pretty convincing fashion as well. Everybody's always talking about Alexander Ovechkin. He still has a shot at 50 goals if he can finish strongly. How important has he been to the recent success of this team? I mean, he's been huge. Um, as you know, He, I mean, if you subtract all the goals that he scored this uh, season, they probably wouldn't have won very many of those games. But Alex Ovechkin is a real leader out there, and he leads by example, and he's that team tough out there. And uh, he's one, you know, I think he's a great mentor for some of the younger capitals on this team, and he's really helping them to propel him, them over the top. Yeah, he really has uh, been doing a great job of that. And then there's the goaltending. I mean, you've got uh, Vanacek, Samsonov. uh, How are they holding up and who do you expect will be the number one goalie once the playoffs get underway? I think it'll end up being Vitek Vanacek. Uh, Ilya Samsonov has come on strong the last couple games, but he's had inconsistency issues the entire season. But uh, Peter Laviolette said that he wants to kind of sort it out and he wants to have that one netminder as the Capitals go to the playoffs. You don't want to be guessing who your starter is going to be once you get into the playoffs. But they do have some depth in Hershey in the form of Zach Fukali uh, if Vitek Vanacek or Ilya Samsana falters. The power play, a little disappointing when you look at the talent up and down this roster. You have, you know, Carlson and Ovechkin and... Uh, you know, so many talented players, Backstrom, who who specialize in the power play. Why has the power play struggled and has it picked up a little bit lately? It has picked up. Um, Nick Backstrom had a maintenance day today, but when Nick Backstrom is out there, he's good at serving up those saucers to Ovechkin out there. But um, I just think that they've been a bit snake bitten as of late, but it seems like John Carlson uh, and Ovechkin are starting to find their groove a bit more again. Always helps when you have those kind of talented players. How about the secondary scoring? I mean, you've got Kuznetsov and Tom Wilson over the 20 goal mark in addition to Ovechkin, but nobody else. Is there enough depth scoring on this team for them to make that long playoff run? I think there is. And you mentioned that there's the top three goal scorers. It's Ovechkin, Kuznetsov, and Wilson. And Wilson sometimes, who gets kind of lauded as a goon on the team, is kind of proving to the rest of the NHL that he's a legitimate goal scorer. But scoring depth, I think they have it. Lars Eller um, scored a couple goals um, in the last couple games, or he scored one today anyway. And uh, they're getting some scoring from their depth lines as well. Uh, especially in the fourth line before Carl Hagelin injured, got injured with that eye injury. They got a ton of scoring from that Hathaway uh, Hagelin uh, line. So I think that uh, I think they do have the depth. It's just kind of focusing this team and kind of like what uh, TJ Oshie talked about. 
looking for their identity again, because this is the same nucleus for the most part that won the 2018 Stanley Cup. It's just going out there and playing Capitals hockey. Yeah, always a challenge. I mean, the goaltending is different, but yeah, a lot of the nucleus is indeed yeah. the same. Looking at the playoff picture right now, is there one team that this uh, Capitals club would like to avoid in the first round? Uh, or does it just is it just let's get in and let the chips fall where they may? I mean, I think that's ultimately let the chips fall where they may, because once you make it to the playoffs, you're going to be playing teams that are good. Otherwise, they wouldn't be playing at this point. But um, it it's kind of slating to be either the Panthers or the Hurricanes, uh, both teams who bring a big physical game, especially the Hurricanes. It seems like the Hurricanes are turning into being one of those big rivals of the Washington Capitals along with the Pittsburgh Penguins, who the Washington Capitals have a long history of uh, going back and forth in the playoffs. So is there a preference at all? Uh, oh. as you... Yeah, I mean, I would say if I was going to pick the one team, I would rather face uh, the Panthers over the Hurricanes. I know that this Hurricanes team is playing really great this year, um, but I mean, if I had to pick between the two, I would say the Panthers. And why is that? I just think that uh, just the way they're slated, uh, I, w I mean, if I was going to pick between the Hurricanes and the Panthers, I think the Capitals have a better chance at beating that Panthers team than over the Hurricanes. The Hurricanes team is pretty stacked this year. And uh, I, I just I think just on paper to me, that seems like a better opponent. What is the one thing this Capitals team needs to do better to make that long playoff run? It is if, well, the big things are always staying out of the penalty box, but really solidifying that number one netminder. I know that they've been getting more consistent play from Vitek Vanacek and Ilya Samsonov, but consistency has still been an issue in that department. And then it's just, um, it's like TJ Oshi talked about, it's just keeping with that team identity playing consistent games, don't getting drawn into dumb penalties. I mean, if you go back to that Carolina game, um, they wanted to, and the Minnesota game for that matter, they really wanted to bait Tom Wilson into a fight and, uh, and keep him in the penalty box. But that's what it's about. It's about rising above and just playing great hockey. Five-game road trip coming up after the next game is at home against Philly. How tough is it to go to the West Coast and to Canada for five games this late in the season? It's going to be tough. I mean, it's tough in a lot of regards. It's tough just from the jet lag perspective. You're playing these games that are so late. So that I think it takes a while to get used to. Uh, the Flyers game that they're going to be playing is going to be one of those trap games that the Washington Capitals want to avoid. Uh, the Flyers at this point, I think, would love nothing more than to play spoiler. At this point, I think they're just playing for jobs and pride, to be honest with you. But then looking at the game on Thursday, they're playing Toronto. Now, Toronto's had their issues this year, uh, most notably, I would say, in net minding. But uh, I think that that Toronto team is no one to mess be messing around with either. And then they have uh, Montreal later in the week, who, let's be honest with you, is not playing that great this year. But uh, I think under the new uh, coaching, I think that they... They're, they're probably going to be a better team uh, next year under Martin Saint, uh, Martin St. Louis. No question about it. Dan, why don't you let our listeners and our viewers know where they could find the podcast and where they could find you on social media? All right. You can find me on Twitter at DanCaps218. You can find Locked On Capitals on Twitter at Locked On Caps. All right. Dan Holmey from Locked On Capitals, thanks so much for joining us today. Thank you.